All right, we're here at my tiny DIY worm bin, and today is kind of a special day because it is exactly 100 days since we started this bin. And I'm actually in here only four days from our last feeding, and that's because we did an oats versus regular food scrap feeding, and I wanna see how that went because a lot of folks commented that they thought the oats might be gone by now. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we have. And one of the first things I see is we've got some pot worms and a bunch of mites. So that is interesting because it actually feels a little bit drier than usual. And right here is actually part of a banana, it looks like. So let's keep digging in. And again, it just feels very granular. And here is, it looks like maybe some of the bedding that we had put in there. So they didn't quite consume it. I think what happened was a lot of moisture got absorbed in here. And as I go deeper, I'm not seeing any potworms or mites. So interesting. It definitely looks like they went for it and ate it, but at the same time, it's almost like a little chalky in here or dry. So let's go over to the food scraps and see what they did. And before we go, I'm looking, these are just really, Really good size red wigglers. Really impressed with those guys. Slash girls because they're hermaphrodites. But that's pretty cool. But I don't see any worm ball or anything like that. Maybe that's because they already got there. And right here you can definitely see a difference between kind of this and maybe some darker castings we have over here. So let's go ahead and go to the other side and see how that is going. And down the middle, nothing. We didn't have any feeding, so this is kind of the control group or, you know, the part that we didn't change from last week. So over here is the regular feeding, and I expect there to be a lot of food over here left because it's only been four days. And right here is the avocado. And, oh man, we've got Mite City. In fact, I'm just gonna hold this for a time lapse right there. All right, it's starting to slowly fall, so I'm just gonna dump out what was in there. And yeah, lots of, tons of mites. Let's do another time lapse. All right, so I'll kind of get that one red wiggler out of there and we'll kind of set this to the side. So let's go ahead and dig in and right away it feels much more moist than the other side. And sure enough, that's because a lot of this food is still left and it probably released its moisture. So here is kind of a halfway through a feeding peak at what we've got going. And this looks like a lettuce stalk. So after four days, it is, you know, doing pretty good as far as getting consumed, which is why we usually don't see it at day six or seven. Here's the burlap sack, and I think we put a tomato in here. Let's just see if there's anything left inside of it. And sure enough, I see, oh, I see a bunch of worms in there. Let me give you a peek. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. dig down in here and see what else just kind of you know mushy food scraps I think there was another lettuce stalk over here and sure enough you can see it goes down pretty quick I mean it's literally only been four days and they're doing a pretty good job of it we're also seeing mites and I think that's because they are coming to get what they like and then the worms kind of maybe take seconds or the worms get to what they like and the mites get to what they like and then they kind of switch it up but all help to break down the food all right one more grab here and then what i'm going to do i am going to feed it's going to be a little bit of a light feeding but i think what i'm going to do is kind of practice a migration i'm going to feed only on one side and see if that kind of gets most of the worms to one side and we'll only do it for this one feeding i think i might decide after but let's just kind of practice a migration and see if the worms, how quickly they'll go to one side when we add food just on one side. So let's get that started. 
All right, the first thing we'll start with is some bedding. And this might be the last time we add bedding to this bin because at 100 days, and we want to probably try and have this done anywhere between 130, 160 days, it really can start to have less bedding or, or no more bedding added, and they can work on the bedding that's already in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some garbanzo beans that we had some extra that had gotten old, and then we'll just pick some food from what we have left over in the freezer. So always a fan favorite, strawberries. We'll do some banana peels and some greens, more strawberries and lettuce, and maybe a little bit of potatoes and some more strawberries. And then I'm gonna feather in a little bit more of those oats, just a little bit. And then I'll add some coffee. And of course our grit, which aids in their digestion. They have gizzards and they use this to help grind their food. And then I'm actually gonna add some of these tea bags that I have that we've put in the bin before and they actually got degraded, which was good. So I'll just add some of those. Easier said than done. <laughs> and I think that is gonna be the last of our bedding. So I'm gonna go ahead and bury this right now. And this is actually a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. But if you like this video and enjoy what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing. I've got two other bins where I do different experiments and I do different feedings. And you know what? We're going to put this in there too. This is the avocado shell. And we didn't fill it, but we're going to put this in here too. This is the burlap sack. So let's finish burying any food scraps that I find. I'm just going to put down here. We'll cover it up, even it out. If there's any residual oats or anything else that they wanted to get from right here, they can get to it. Remember, this has only been four days, so this is not typically what we see when we check in our bins. A lot of the food wasn't digested. We're just kind of doing a midweek look at our bin here and seeing what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.